good kitten internet it's been a while since i've just done a normal vlog no video game around me although i'm totally talking about video games probably pardon for the squinting the sun is right there you can tell from the shadow exactly where it's at so i'm kind of looking directly into the sun anyway how are you been a while since we've just docked you all the entire youtube audience and myself you know it's always been a little awkward that way hasn't it so, let me catch you up on what's going on with Might Magic 6, at least how I've played so far. Uh, at the time of this recording, I actually have zero episodes queued up. Uh, you've caught up to where I'm at. So, that was, uh, the last episode was episode 12, I want to say? Yeah, because episode 11 was the one I had to give the voiceover for. And there'll be some extra noise out and about because, well, I'm in a public place. This is a park. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful day, 15 degrees. Uh, looks like I may have chased off everybody around me. Figures I could have gone to the... Yeah, back there, you can see the gazebo over there. That's where I was initially planning on setting up, but there's a little kid playing nearby, and I didn't want to bother them. Anyway, so, Might Magic 6, where we're currently at. So, it may not seem that way, but we're at probably about a third of the way through the game at this point. Uh, since I've done 12 videos, it's roughly 12 hours that I've played. And... Might Magic 6 is usually 150 to 200 hours, but I tend to play very rapidly in general. So, what may take a normal person 200 hours because they're searching things out, exploring, and I already know where everything's at. Um, it kind of loses a little bit of the magic that way, but it's also far more fun for you all to watch. So, we're about 12 episodes in. I would expect probably about 35 to 40 episodes total, so right at about a third roughly. Plot-wise, allow me to explain what's going on, because that's one of the questions I've been getting, is what in the world is going on I don't understand, and part of that's because of the way I play. So, background of the game, uh, King Roland Iron Fist, oh, wind's picking up, I have a makeshift wind thing, pardon the noise, trying to block out some of the wind with my jacket and backpack. Nope, can't stand the backpack up. That'll have to do. Uh, so, King Roland Iron Fist disappeared after a battle. Um, it was actually the Battle of Sweetwater, which is where the party comes from. And you'll find out a little bit later on when I go through more of the quest. Basically, Roland retreated from Sweetwater over to the castle of Kriegspire and was captured by devils. Your party are inhabitants of the village of Sweetwater, which is way up... Um, let's see, I'm going to point this way. Now, that's a prettier direction. I'm going to point this way. That's where I'm going to put all of the uh, screenshots and so on for this video, because this video is going to be edited. So, Roland, uh, you come from Sweetwater, which is way in the top left-hand corner of the map, and you start out in New Serpical, which is in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Places we have gone. So, we have gone to New Serpical, which is where we started. We briefly hit Dragon Sand, uh, then came back to New Serpical, then we went to Freehaven, then Castle Iron Fist, Mist, Bootleg Bay, and we've briefly gone into Silver Cove. The rest of these zones, yeah, we haven't touched yet. Um, but believe it or not, we're probably about a third of the way through the game. Plot quest-wise, we've actually done very little required. You are required to show the letter to William Humphrey. You are required to do the six council quests. We have done one of the council quests, so yeah, we still have five more council quests to do, but we're going to start knocking them out pretty quickly as we go on, because, well, they're not that hard. It's more that I'm not in the correct positions to go do them. The only council quest that I can easily get to at this exact time that in a zone that I've been to before is the council quest I'll be waiting to do last, because screw Garrick's Forge. Screw that place. I hate that place so much. And when I go through it, you will also understand why I hate that place so much. Promotion quest-wise, we're actually doing much better than normal. So uh, every member of our party has been promoted once, uh, with the exception of Ed the Cleric, who's been promoted twice. Uh, we still need to do the second night promotion, which we will be doing probably somewhat shortly. Uh, I would guess after I go through Castle Iron Fist. And we still need to do the two Archmage quests. Uh, 
yeah, the Archmage promotion quests, which are in Castle Iron Fist, which is what we'll be doing next, I think. Obviously, I'm not playing at the moment, so I can't exactly look these things up. Some questions that I've received, um, and thank you for asking questions, by the way. This is... So, first off, um, there was somebody who sent me a message on GameFAQ uh, probably about a month or two ago, mentioning that he somehow got into his head that I was this horrible person because I was ripping on his favorite game. My Magic 6 is one of my favorite games, by the way. Um, I have a lot of fond memories of playing it, or alternately sitting next to my father playing it. I was always the one who would look up maps, and I had we had the strategy guide because we actually didn't own the manual, and we were trying to figure out how to play, and the easiest way to figure that out was to get the strategy guide. Um, so I had the strategy guide memorized, which is part of the reason why I have some false information in my mind, because the strategy guide wasn't exactly 100% accurate. Uh, so I had the map layouts of these places. I was looking in the future and going, Whoa, these maps are huge! And I did a lot of research for my dad while he was playing. He would sit there next to me and help me out with the same types of things. We would basically alternate back and forth playing the game. Um, he always chose might-based routes. I always chose magic-based routes. Um, we had a bit of opposing styles of play, but we ended up beating the game at roughly the same time for the first time. On the other hand, I'm the one who beat it the 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, and so on at the time. So, yeah, Might Magic 6 is actually one of my favorite games, so please ask more questions. I love explaining this stuff because there's so much to explain and so many neat things about the game, even if there's a lot of things that are definitely not neat. Hi, puppy. So many puppies. Uh, let's see. Other things, um, the fly spell. Uh, some um, Candace has definitely pointed this out, and I'm sure that other people who haven't actually played Might Magic Six would be wondering why don't I use the fly spell indoors? There's definitely times where I could really use going up higher, um, going back up the ramps in the Hall of the Fire Lord. Um, you can't actually cast the fly. Oh, the winds change direction. Great. So my little cover is not doing much. You can't cast fly indoors. What you can do is cast the jump spell, which I actually don't have. And this is abnormal for me because I'm a huge fan of the jump spell. It lets you skip a lot of things. In fact, found out recently it allows you to skip an entire dungeon. Uh, so I will be picking up the jump spell when I can find it. And it's probably going to be the next time I stop by Freehaven or Mist. Those two places would sell it. Let's see what else I've been asked. Um... What am I going to play after Might Magic 6? I'm still deciding, and I certainly wouldn't mind some input from any of you. I'm basically deciding between going back to Shining Force 2, because I do want to resume that at some point, uh, playing Might Magic 7. Might Magic 7 I actually enjoy more than Might Magic 6, but I also have a little bit less of it memorized, because I haven't played through it as often. For some reason, I think 6 is a little bit more replayable. can't explain why. 7's a better game in my mind. Um, so I plan on playing through Might Magic 6, 7, and 8, the trilogy. Uh, for reference, 6 is the much larger one of the three games. 6 is probably about the size of 7, 8 combined multiplied by 1.5. Uh, Might Magic 7 is a reasonably lengthy game. Uh, it's normally about 50 to 75 hours, so I'd probably be beating it in 20 to 30 would be my guess. And Might Magic 8 is a much shorter game because they basically rushed it and tried to kick it out the window as fast as possible. Um, I could probably beat that in 10 to 20 hours would be my guess. And for reference, speedrunning Might Magic 8 is measured in tens of minutes, I want to say. Uh, Speedrun of Might Magic 6 and 7 are both in the 30 to 40, uh, in roughly 30 minute range. So yeah, either, I was, as I was saying, I get easily distracted. Also, the sun's starting to set, so I can open my eyes slightly more. Uh, either going back to Shining Force 2, uh, continuing on with Might Magic 7, or playing a game I've never played before. I don't know how well that would work, um, Let's Play-wise. There's a lot of classic games I haven't actually played. I've been debating between, and by not played, I mean not played more than about 10 to 20 minutes of, because I've at least launched these. Uh, so I have, the ones I've been thinking of at the moment would be Final Fantasy IX, uh, Soikiden 3, or Wild Arms 4. Um, 
I've been told that Final Fantasy IX is a great Final Fantasy game. I've just never played it. Uh, outside of trying to launch it once, and that was about it. Um, the Swickenden series and the Wild Arms series are both some of my favorite series of console RPGs. And I have not really played either of the next entries into the series. I haven't played any of Wild Arms for... I, I've played like five hours of Wild Arms 4, and I haven't touched Wild Arms 5 at all. Uh, so I can in series, I've completely slaughtered 1 and 2, and have barely played 3. Or I could always play something else. I'm, like I said, I'm open to options, just not sure what yet. Um, other things that I'm doing at the same time as this. So this is basically monopolizing my gaming time. I'm playing a little bit, well, I am playing Pogo. It's actually been running in my pocket this entire time. Nice screenshot of a Baidu Fraid sitting in my pocket. Um, let's see, so I've been playing some Pogo, which apparently is an airplane mode for some reason. Anyway, um, I've been playing some Magic the Gathering Arena. Not much of it anymore. I've kind of switched to playing the Let's Play instead. And I've been playing some Heat Signature. Uh, Heat Sig recently had a ridiculously huge update that made it fun for me to play again because it's now challenging. Uh, let's see. Other questions. Um, most of my questions aren't might magic related because I've been answering them as I've been going along. Um, why am I so terrible at enchant item? So, Kadeotir has been really on my case about this type of thing. I have really bad memory when it comes to certain things that I can never explain why. What I can enchant in Might Magic 6 is one of those. Um, I actually have my notes off to the side while I'm playing that basically lay out, these are the things that you can enchant um, of each t item type and so on. And for some reason, I never look at those notes. I keep trying to have it memorized. Um, I'm also the t not the type of person that tends to enchant every little thing because I tend to collect very large quantities of loot before I go, and go off and go sell things. So, eh? Um, let's see, what else? That's mostly it. Let's see, I've been recording this for about 13 minutes at this point. Probably cutting out about 3 minutes, 10 minutes. Yeah, that's about what I wanted to talk Anyway, it's a gorgeous day outside, so I'm going to go back to my house and play more Might and Magic 6. Um, there's, there may or may not be another Might and Magic video associated with this video. I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. Uh, depends on how much I end up playing tonight. I, today is Thursday, for reference. Um, Thursday's video is already live, so I need to have a video for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before I can go back and start playing games again, probably. So, if I only record two videos tonight, this will be its only video. If I record three videos tonight, this will be along with a Might and Magic video. Um, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I've actually been doing Vito this entire time. I have been record trying to record or have something uploaded every day. I'm not sweating the whole record every day part, but I am uploading every day now. I was just building up to it. That's why it's seven days a week now at 11 a.m. Central Time and lots of other time zones because strangely enough YouTube believes that I now have more viewers outside the US than inside the US by a factor of three then again YouTube also thinks that 100% of my audience is male and I know for a fact that's incorrect so whatever well I'll be off at this point um enjoy I hope people have been it looks like people have been enjoying my Might Magic 6 videos. It's probably because I'm very enthusiastic about the game, and I have lots of things to say, which in for when I watch Let's Plays, that's kind of what I enjoy watching, is people having lots of things to talk about. And I've always asked other Let's Players, how do they come up with things? And, well... And... And, well, their answer is they just keep talking, so that's what I've been doing. See you next time, Internet.